good day students. Today we want to consider a very important topic which is measurement of gas pressure. Gas pressure is being measured with an instrument called manometer. Manometer. You see, gas pressure is the force by unit area exerted by gas and the instrument used for measurements is manometer for measuring the gas pressure. Let's solve a problem. But well, before we solve the problem, uh, I, want to, I want to derive a formula for pressure which is force over area. But we can derive another formula in case you are not giving force direct. The other force is mass times acceleration. And uh, the area is length and breadth. You can derive another formula from that. We have pressure to be force over area, which is force is mass times acceleration over area. Area is length and breadth. But when you come to uh, we have density equals mass over volume. This is symbol for density. When you cross multiply, you have mass equals density times volume. Cross multiply density. This is symbol for density. Density. When you cross multiply, ma mass times one will be mass. Density times volume will be density times volume. Now come here. Instead of writing mass, you replace your mass m. Let me write it so that you understand what it means. Mass times acceleration over area. Express force as M A. What are our mass? Put density. Density times volume over area. And uh, we can still express this. Density times volume times acceleration. We have acceleration also. And this acceleration, since we are dealing with pressure, let's accelerate it to gravity. Center of gravity G. Now, volume is uh, area. You know, we have volume to be volume to be length times breadth times height. This length and breadth stand as area, area times H. We are now replacing volume with area times H times G. Divide by A, A cancel A. We now have pressure also to be what? Density times I times G. This is a very important formula. This pressure, G stands for pressure. H stands for density. The rho stands for density, sorry. H stands for height and G stands for acceleration due to gravity. The diagram above is a manometer used to measure gas pressure. We have to look for density. What is the height of the water that will support one atmosphere? Of the pressure height of the water that means that we now relate it together density the pressure of this the pressure of the water equals pressure of the mercury so we're dealing with mercury from there you can have density of the water height of the water this energy of gravity is common equals to density of the mercury, height of the mercury, and energy to gravity. What's density of the water in this case? Density of water is 1000. It's 1000. And I say 1000 times. What is height of the water? Height of that what we are looking for. Height of the water times 
9.8 is giving to us 9.8 equals what the density of the mercury density of the mercury that's 13,600 um, times what is the height of the mercury height of the mercury height of the mercury one atmosphere 0 0.76 so standard 0.76 times what is it? You have the same 9.8. Now divide both sides by 1000 times 9.8. Divide by 1000 times 9.8 comes to each other. Now height of the water because when you press your calculator very well, you get. 10.34 meters that is the height of the water that, was, that is needed please take note of the formula pressure force of area and pressure equals rho hg density multiplied by height and assumed to gravity this is the end of our class please subscribe to my channel so that you can get the latest video have a wonderful day